Welcome to WISIS Forum 2018. I'm delighted to be joined by Ms. Swad Al Shamsi, who is Project Manager at the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority of the United Arab Emirates. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for hosting me. So you have been involved with many smart government projects, and the latest one is very interesting. It's about helping dads enjoy their paternity leave. Yes. Uh, so actually, uh, in UAE, it has been a very uh, painful process, I will say, for any father when they are blessed with their newborn baby, rather than spending the time with the baby, enjoying that moment with their wives, they spend their paternity leave going between the government entities to issue an identity document. They have to issue their birth certificate, their passport, and many other important identity documents that has to be issued for the baby to be able to avail the services, being in health sector, traveling, etc. Uh, we have uh, redesigned those services. We have worked collaboratively with the Prime Minister Office in a program called the UAE Government Accelerator, where in which uh, different government entities uh, has been put together. We were 10 government entity. Myself was the lead on the service. Uh, we worked together to redesign the process to look into how can we change the service to uh, make the customer happier customer. We even took an extra mile where in which we sat with the customer themselves. We heard them. We uh, co-created the service along with them for something that will actually make them happier and make them enjoy their paternity leave rather than making them actually uh, go between the government issuing the documents. Several things are interesting about this approach. There's obviously smart government, mm -hmm. so making things more efficient, um, using ICTs um, to deliver the SDGs, yes. I suppose, uh, and generally making society happier. Yes. Uh, so it, it sounds like you really are trying to address several issues all at once. Exactly. So from a smart government perspective, we have the national plan, which uh, works for us as the roadmap for the technology implementation, the ICT implementation within the government. We look after the federal uh, government. However, federal can never work alone. So we laid down the foundation between the federal entities and then between them and the other smart governments in each and every emirate, connecting them together through a secure network, connecting them through uh, integrated platform, providing different technology enablement, which help us to deliver the services faster. That's from the ICT perspective. From the uh, people perspective or the way the government work, we have changed the way that the government work from more of uh, the usual, business as usual, into more of an agile. We work around the clock, uh, changing the way we plan, change the way we think, having a difference uh, in how we look at a challenge. It's no more a challenge, it's really an opportunity for us to improve our services and to show to our customer that we really care and we provide the services the way they uh, wanted it to be. The Emirates are world leaders in, in creating uh, efficient mm -hmm. uh, e-services and, and, and e-public uh, services. Yes. Have you been able to share best practices with uh, other participants at uh, WISIS Forum? Yes, actually just now we had a count, uh, country workshop uh, has been attended and we have presented the uh, our experience and what we have been through. We have received lots of interesting questions and we have also uh, received uh, lots of feedback and comments on uh, how this will help them even in their own organization, and we'll be having some visitors uh, in April itself from those audience. Ms. Shamsi, thank you very much. Thank you.